from Kathmandu, capital of Nepal, come first pictures of the city's preparations to welcome back the conquerors of Mount Everest. This mighty achievement has a particular significance for these people, for it was Sherpa Tensing, the most famous of their porters, who, with New Zealander Edmund Hillary, triumphed in the final assault. The first members of the Everest expedition to reach Kathmandu are the leader, Colonel John Hunt, and teammates Bourdillon and Gregory. At Goucher Airport, they watch an aircraft fly Mrs. Hunt in from England. Bourdillon failed to reach the peak by only 500 feet. Mr. A. Gregory was the oxygen expert with the team. For his splendid leadership, Colonel Hunt has been honored with a knighthood. Crowds throng the streets of the capital to celebrate the conquest of the mountain, which at last has yielded the secrets it has held since the beginning of time. In procession, troops march through the city to honor Tenzing, to whom the King of Nepal has given the title Tiger of Tigers. At the Royal Palace in Kathmandu, Colonel Hunt presents a cushion to the Indian postmaster for his help in relaying messages to Britain. Meanwhile, from Everest, the rest of the team begin the descent. Everest, rearing five and a half miles towards the substratosphere. For 30 years, the goal of adventurers, vanquished at last. At a camp near the foot of the mountain, others of the expedition rest before moving on to Kathmandu. In such tents as these, they slept high on the slopes of Everest during the ascent. Sherpas move further up the mountain to greet Hillary and Tensing. Dwarfed by the mighty Himalayas, they begin the journey to Kathmandu. The two conquerors lead the triumphant procession. The crowds swell in the capital as the news spreads that the heroes have returned. Thousands join in the jubilant procession, shouting and singing their praises. Following the great parade comes a small convoy of vehicles carrying the mountaineers. To the men who first set foot upon the summit of Everest go the congratulations of all. But to their leader, Colonel Hunt, who stood back that victory might be the privilege of others, goes the admiration of the whole world. 